Okay, so if you were to think about what we should say to each other more often than we do, what would you what would you say that is? Just anybody. I love you. We love you. I'm hungry. Huh? I'm hungry. <laughs> what else? What else would you like to hear somebody say to you more often? Good job. Huh? Legend, you're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. On a daily. That would be good. Okay, so do you guys do you guys know who Kid President is? Yeah. This guy right here? Okay, so I want to show you this brief video. He, he came up with 20 things that we need to say more often. So here it goes. Listen to what he says. We got sound? 20 things we should say more often. Number 20. Thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19. Excuse me. Number 18. To your face and cry corn dogs, I thought you were just remembering. There will be more corn dogs, more happy people. This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17. I'm sorry. Number 16. I forgive you. Number 15. You can do it! But don't say it if it's something you can't do. Number 14. <laughs> Another thing that we should say more often, I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Yeah. Number 13, please. Number 12, yeah. everything is going to be okay. Yeah. Number 11, oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Yeah. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> no. You're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Oh, boy. Yeah. That could hurt somebody's feelings. I mean, a boat. <laughs> I named my boat after you. But you even have a boat. You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Oh, that's super crazy. And, and just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person that I never met before. Here's a high five. Yeah. Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Yeah. Number six. <laughs> Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. that would what kind of connection that would build for our community what kind of friendships that would build and then I think about some of the things that I want to hear God say to us more often that because sometimes I, mean, I, I deal with a lot of folks that have spent a lot of time with a lot of people who the things they hear from God are things like condemnation and judgment and you're not good enough you got to measure up and so I wonder what what are some of the things that God wants us to hear him say more often. So here's some of the things I thought about. These are from the Gospels, from what Jesus says. Um, so let's, can we read it together? Let's just read it out loud, okay? Here we go. This is what God wants us to hear Him say more often. Come with me. Come to me. Everybody now. You are my friends. I don't condemn you. 
You're forgiven. You can trust me. Welcome. I tell you the truth. Live free. I'm with you in this to the end. I will never give up on you. I love you. I embrace you with compassion. And treat each other with compassion and love. So I wonder if it would make a difference. I think it makes a difference in my life. When I understand that God is speaking these things over me. And I hope it makes a difference uh, for you all. Alright, so who's praying tonight? You are.